Paul. The kids used to call me that when I was in Paul. It was one in particular always called the, the Palms. So the 23rd Psalm tonight, once, once again, so the, uh, we'll look at it for just a, a few moments. And as best I can, can think right now, there, I think we got five more weeks of, on the 23rd Psalm. And so we are part seven tonight. And uh, we will talk about the provisions of God. And if you found your place, we, we see here the, the world me. We, we see this word me. And it's used by Christians in their worship. And as we think along those lines, we see uh, there's such prayers as uh, meet in a decision or Lord give us directions to to the uh, doctors or there, there's not so many words that are used in intercessory prayer but this text serves as a, as a, as a uh, I guess you call it a scriptural basis for such praying as we do. And so, having said that, first, each person is asked to give attention to a general interpretation of this concept. And if we think about that, there are at least two interpretations that can be given on the idea of righteousness. And so as we look at this word, first it can apply to the manner in which God meets. Uh, and this is in, in accordance with the, with the character and of the reputation of God. And uh, then secondly, it can apply to the place to which God lives. And this is a, in accordance with the character and the reputation of God of God, and the good shepherd meets, and he keeps within the bounds of, of um, good character and uh, serenity. But there are some parables that we think of that can be made between sheep and humans, and just uh, brought out here in this text. And so having said that, let's consider some, uh, some facts about sheep. First, sheep are creatures of habit. Uh, if sheep are left to their own will, they will follow their own trail until the ground becomes just absolute waste and becomes um, corrupt with, with diseases. And, and then secondly, they, uh, they require careful handling. It's easy to, to think about that. And uh, it's easy to ask pastors to, to become overgrazed, you know, the, where they on out there, we've seen uh, where the ground is just torn up, they've eaten so, and they're impoverished, and uh, and the erosion then it, it sets in, and they must be kept on the move. They just cannot stay still. They cannot be left on the same ground too long. Uh, the, the shepherd has predetermined plans and they're going to fly, and they're going to use a, a, a rotation uh, system. And then um, what's really amazing is some facts about people are very similar. Uh, listen to Isaiah 53, 6. It speaks of people following their, their own way. And the Bible says, listen to this, all we like sheep have gone astray. 
we have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And so they cling to habits, do what they want to do, and they just follow the crowd. But the good shepherd deals with his children as the shepherd does his sheep. He leads, he protects, and he takes care of them. And the wisest thing that we can do is acknowledge the Lord who directs our path. And so I'm going to close here with Proverbs 3, 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So Tim, you pray our benediction. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for uh, those of us that have attended tonight. And, uh, pray that you bless every individual, bless every family that is here. Lord, we lift up. Um, Several of those that are not with us tonight, and uh, we're going to probably be, be looking at them. I pray that you'll bring them back safely to God's house. We pray for uh, um, Sister Lois, Heavenly Father, that you would be with her. She's recovering. We pray for Sarah, um, Alex's sister in Australia, God, that you would uh, put your healing hand upon her and be with her as she's going through this ordeal. Lord, we know that you're the great physician. Prayer, Lord, and everyone uh, can heal her, Heavenly Father. We do know that your love and your touching hand can be placed upon her and, and restore her and make her whole. And we pray for that, Heavenly Father. We pray for uh, those that are traveling or soon will be traveling.